I'm currently on a 1/4 of shutter and my aperture is on minus 6. I've got an infrared lens here and a polarizer lens here. I'm going to put over the front of this camera and I'm going to video the sun. It's the only way I can knock out all the glare and all the flare. And I'm also doing it through the window, that bit there, that, that edge there, the sun's up there. Okay? Um, <coughs> people are saying there's two suns, again. There's the sun. Okay, let's zoom in. To the sun. It's the edge of the window with more big lava, that was. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to zoom back in again, show you, see? Flex off the window. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom back out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lenses off and show you how fucking bright it is. Right, there's the sun. You can see how flared it is. Can you see this line that's coming down as well? Right, okay, okay, that's zoom in. See how much glare there is. Yeah? Shit though. Yeah? Come back out all the way back out again. Put the lens on. But no solo. It's nice bright now, yeah, it's coming out nicely. Okay, turn that off. So him in. Look at the glare. And this is on the the, the, sh the, sh the, sh the setting on my camera is the lowest I can put it to the video of the sun. This is why normal people are getting weird pictures of the sun. Look at the state of it. Look, you have to put a lens on the front of it and all of a sudden you can see that it's a lot different. You know? And this is where people are making mistakes. Start videoing things correctly. If you don't know how to use aperture settings and um, shutter speed on your camera, PM me and I'll explain. But it's just I've started to get a bit boring now. Um, I'm going to have to stop this so you can actually see me. So, Go on. these are the two lenses I'm using. I've got two lenses actually. Um, my dad's got my, my big camera, my, um, my still camera at the moment, so I've kept the lenses. But that's a polarizer lens. I'll put it over. Can you see it? It's. See the difference? It takes the glare off. Basically, you use this lens to video something or to take a picture through um, a window. Okay. It eliminates all the crap. There, there you go on its own. And then this lens here is an infrared lens, so it makes everything look infrared. But, you know, there's not much on it. And I know so I can't really, as you can see behind me, everything's infrared. I've got it on one two hundred shot speed. So what I do is I put the two of these together. So this one and the polarizer, and that knocks out enough light for the sun. You've got to remember the sun is the bright job object in our universe. And um, I've explained before how our, how our eyes work, you know. When our pupils are like pin dots, there's not much light being let in. When our pupils are really big, there isn't much light around. So hence, at night time, your pupils are usually bigger than in the daytime. And it's because... Blinking is our shutter speed. We don't... It, it, it's strange um, how a camera works. A, a camera blinks as well. Right. So I had that on one four thousandth shutter speed. means that it's blinking 4,000 times a second. I've currently got it on one two hundred and fifty, which means it's blinking 250 times a second. Now, the human eye works at 30 
30 times, 30 times, 30 times a second enables the brain to put pictures together. So you get 30 fr frames, a, if it's 30 frames a minute, no, it can't be 30 frames a minute. 30 frames a second is 29.95 is what television uses. And there's a point, I think it's something stupid, like 27 frames per second, fools the human eye to think it's moving. Um, but with a camera, you can make it blink more so it gets a picture of something that's really, really bright or a picture of something that's really, really dim. Like when you're, when you're on night vision, why it, it stutters like that sometimes and you get this sort of movement is because it's like one-eighth one over eight, so eight, eight shots per second, is slower than the human eye. So therefore you see the judder. Um, but the sun is very fucking bright. And so is the moon and um, stars if they're close, as close as the moon. Because they're emitting all the light that they, you can see is coming from our sun and other things in the universe. And it's just, it's a fucking bright object, you know. I proved it with ghost images when I took some pictures of the sunset. Now at sunset, there's not as much blue light, is that right? Blue light's left. So, you can get ghost images. Now on my camera, I haven't got this thing that goes over the lens. You can put it over a lens hood, it's called. And they're to stop certain lens flares when you take pictures in the day. And they prevent ghost images on, on the um, camera. <clears throat> I haven't got one for my camera. I should get one. Um, because the pictures I took in Blackpool, which I'll put them at the end of this. These two pictures, are, I'll put them off on the end of this. These two pictures to follow. Um, all the information for that is in my Flickr account. <clears throat> they were taken 30 seconds apart, and all I'd done is I took one picture like that, and I took one picture like that. One like that, one like that. So, you'll see the actual ghost image moves 90 degrees, but most people thought it was a second sun. Um, but there's only one sun in the sky. You know, I've been looking for this second sun for years. That's why I've got all these lenses and all these different cameras, you know. Loads of different tripods all over the place. Got a camera up there as well on this one that I'm using here. Um, to look for these sort of things. But it's not out there. Also, Planet um, um, Comet Ellen. I was looking into um, Halbop, which is um, a comet that... Halbop. Yeah, over Stonehenge. Now this comet was visible. Where's my broadband dropper down now? This comet was visible um, two years before it got here and was visible two years as it went. Um, I can't say that's Comet Ellen, so it can't be that big, can it? And that comet was 60 kilometres in diameter. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that these things aren't out there. I'm not saying there isn't something peculiar going on in the world. I'm not saying that, you know, there was some planetary alignment recently and the sun has got very active. But there's no end of the world apocalypse scenarios right now going on. And there's only one sun in the sky. So, um, any of you who have not watched me before, I am, um, if you want to call it, a true a new anti-New World Order person. And, um, you know, know what the great big conspiracy is etc etc and I'm looking for the same things but some people need to learn how to video the sun um, ask someone who understands cameras that's why I'm talking to you okay then peace love and night bye